In this video, you're gonna learn how to escape the double collar tie. It's basically the same position when you have two hands around your opponent's neck. The first escape is only gonna work if you are a similar height to your opponent or you're taller. This escape is not gonna be effective if you're a lot shorter. So somebody like Sanchai would not be able to use this technique because he's always a lot shorter than his opponent. So this first escape is for people who are similar height or if you're taller than your opponent. So I'm gonna get my lock around pot here. I'm gonna keep a strong lock. And you're gonna notice the first thing he does is his posture. Notice how straight he is. He's not bent down. The first thing you need to know when you clinch is your posture has to be strong. Look how upwards. If he's down, it's easy for me to pull him down. But if his body's tight, his posture is upright, look how it connects with his neck. It's, I cannot, I'm pulling as hard as I can and I cannot pull his neck because he has good posture. When he has good posture, the first thing he does is he reaches his hand around and grabs the back of my neck. Notice that lock position. He's reaching his hand around and at the same time, he's twisting his shoulder and he's breaking my lock. Do you see what he's doing? My elbow's tight here. He's breaking the position. He breaks the leverage that I have with my elbow and then I have no more power, I have no more lock. And then he can pull or he can throw me and the same thing with the other side. He can do the same thing, he reaches around and he breaks with the shoulder. And Pot's gonna show you directly here how, it, if you look into the camera, Notice the shoulder, he's using his shoulder to twist. His shoulder is twisting like this. And make twist, it close, close to you. Bringing it tight to my body. If he's not tight, if he's far, then I can still keep the leverage. But if he's tight, he breaks it. So you're basically, you're basically doing this movement. You're pulling, pulling yes, tight. Yes. So it's here, he's, he's pulling tight. He's touching, his shoulder is closing the gap and he's breaking the leverage I have on my shoulder. So that is the first escape and it's the most effective escape. You have to stay with good posture. Pot immediately has good posture. If you let somebody pull your neck down, if, if Pot gets me here and he's already here, I can't, it's, it's difficult. Yes because I already have bad position. But if, if you immediately, if you resist right away and have strong posture, you're more likely yes. to break. So the first thing, you have to have good posture and your neck has to be straight. You don't bend your neck. If you watch Sancha, you'll notice he's always shorter than his opponents. And this escape is for people who are shorter in height. So I have two hands around. If he's a lot shorter than me, he's not gonna be able to, to do the same movement. So what he's gonna do instead is he's gonna get under and he's gonna close the, the gap so he's gonna get me in a body lock position. Same thing from this angle and we're gonna show again. I have the two-handed grip. He's gonna get on the inside, notice his hands, get Two. Because close shoulder is coming. Because my shoulder's tight here, he raises it up. Watch from this angle again. One more time from this angle. Slowly, he's gonna get inside on the inside. He can either have the head on this side or on the other side. It doesn't matter, but he's pinching me tight. And from here, I'm vulnerable. I have a high center of gravity. He can, he can dump me, he can sweep me. So that's an escape if somebody is, a, if you're shorter than your opponent, you wanna get on the inside, get the body locked. 